This is Bardcraft and we're gonna build a tiny ballista. First I took some XPS foam and cut it into a sheet, so I could make wooden beams for the ballista. I want the ballista to be of suitable size for my castle terrain, so I cut the pieces a bit shorter. With an addition of these smaller pieces, I can now make the base for the ballista. I made the wood textures by carving grooves with a pen. You could also use a steel brush for this step. The idea is just to make some random wavy lines. If everything goes well, it might even look like wood. Here you can see the wooden pieces we will be using for the base of the ballista. Now it's time to assemble the base. I applied a bit of PVA glue where the pieces will be attached to each other. The pieces are really small, so it can be a bit tricky to get them into place, but we can do it. Now I will continue building the ballista frame, and then we will make the weapon itself. I glued in this wooden beam in the middle of the base. Then I textured a few more wooden beams that will be used to support the one we just glued in the middle of the base. I cut the beams at an angle, so they will fit like this. Then I made two cuts on the opposite side, like this. The idea is that the beam will fit around the one in the middle of the base. Here you can see what I mean. I cut the other pieces in the same way. I had to remove a bit of material from the upper corners of the pieces, since they would not all fit when I tried it for the first time. Alright then, time for some glue. This is the part where I will compensate my lack of cutting perfectly fitting pieces by adding more glue. When all the pieces were attached, I could easily press down everything into place, like this. Pretty nice. Now I will make the parts that the ballista will be attached to. I cut out an octagonal disc, which I will paint to be metallic. I glued it on top, and then attached small plank pieces. I made sure that the gap between the plank pieces was wide enough for the stock of the ballista. This piece right here will be the stock of the ballista. We'll make the bow first. And no, this is not a realistic ballista, it's for fantasy gaming. I cut out a large bow shape from XPS foam. I cut it like this so it tapers towards the end. I was also able to shape it by pressing it between my fingers. By doing so, I was able to make the bow evenly thick. Then I added some wood textures, just as we did before. This is how it looks, and let's glue it onto the stock. I added this piece as an extra detail, and then proceeded by making the arrow for this weapon. This cocktail stick is too thick, so I made it thinner. There we go, now we can cut it into the right length. And let's also make an arrowhead from a cocktail stick. I carved the stick thinner and made sort of a bevel to it. I cut off the end and then glued it onto the shaft. Now I'm gonna work on some details of the stock. Ah, that's too big. Right. I stuck in a cocktail stick as a handle on this piece. and then glued it under the stock of the ballista. I'm going to use ends of cocktail sticks to make the cocking levers. I cut eight of these pieces and glued them on to form a wheel. Now somebody could use this wheel to cock the ballista. And let's do the other side really fast.
These small pieces will be used to hold the bow in place with some string, but we'll come back to that later. Now, let's go back to the arrow. I made a slit for the arrow and glued it in. Now let's do something with a package of oats. I will use cardstock for some metal pieces. First I cut a piece for the bow, later in this video I will also cut some smaller cardstock pieces that will reinforce the wooden frame. I bent the piece and then glued it into place. There we go, and time for the string. I used braided fishing line that I coated in PVA glue to make it stiffer. I wrapped it around the bow and the short sticks I glued in earlier. With the help of some glue, the string stayed well in its place. I'll repeat the same thing for the other side. Nice, this looks better than I expected. Okay, these are gonna be the small pieces that hold the string of the bow in place. I used a needle to attach the strings, like this. Then I applied some PVA glue. I applied some tension to the bow while the glue hardened. In this way the string will have a bit of tension to make it nice and straight. Now I'm cutting the remaining metallic reinforcement pieces for the ballista and the frame. These go to the back of the stock. Then I glued these strips to the side of the stock. And a few more cardstock pieces will be glued down on the frame of the ballista. I had to bend these pieces a bit before gluing them on. Now it's time to attach the ballista to the frame, and then we'll start painting. For this ballista I used Army Painter miniature paint. I started by painting the frame with leather brown. And for the stock of the ballista, I mixed light brown out of leather brown and drake tooth white. I went back to the leather brown and painted this piece of the stock. And then the bow. I was careful not to get paint on the strings. Now it's time for the metal part. I used gunmetal to paint all of the smaller wooden pieces and the cardstock pieces. And of course, the arrowhead was also painted metallic. This strange octagonal piece was also painted with gunmetal. I painted the shaft of the arrow with dark brown, a mixture of leather brown and black. I cleaned up the paint job and then started working with this awesome wash. I applied generous amounts of dark shade wash, I simply covered everything with it and tried to get plenty of it in the grooves of the wood. The wash just makes everything look great and it feels like cheating. The wash also makes the metal pieces look a bit aged. Now that the wash has dried, I will gently dry brush the wood with drake to it. The metal parts were dry brushed with the same gunmetal we used earlier. But wait, we're not done yet. I applied small dots of white as some sort of bolts or nails to the metal parts. And there we go, in good lighting it looks something like this. So what should we craft next? Any ideas? You want to see more miniatures and terrain, don't you? So do subscribe and like this video if you've come so far.
I'm also working on the Bardscraft Bestiary, a tiny monster manual where I list 5th edition D&D stat blocks for the custom miniatures I've crafted. You can get this and other stuff by supporting my work on Patreon. Go check it out. See you in the next video, and goodbye.